The U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley told U.S. legislators that the U.S. should consider sending additional soldiers' troops to Eastern Europe as the Russia-Ukraine war has entered its 42nd day. The United States Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley told the U.S. legislators on Tuesday that the U.S. should consider sending additional soldiers to Eastern Europe to prevent Russian aggression. According to BBC, Milley, in his first testimony to Congress since the Russian military operation commenced, said that U.S. forces should rotate between NATO-created facilities rather than remaining stationed there indefinitely. The top U.S. general asserted, My advice would be to create permanent bases but don't permanently station forces, so you get the effect of permanence by rotational forces cycling through permanent bases, BBC reported. Further, Milley highlighted that the basing could be financed by other nations that desire additional American soldiers, like Poland and the Baltics. Any effort to strengthen security in Eastern Europe, according to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, is a work in progress that would most likely be reviewed at the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, summit in June. The Associated Press reported. Milly said, I believe that a lot of our European allies, especially those such as the Baltics or Poland and Romania, and elsewhere, they are very, very willing to establish permanent bases. They will build them, they will pay for them. The U.S. general went on to describe that the conflict in Ukraine is the greatest threat to peace and security of Europe and perhaps the world in my 42 years of service in uniform, as per BBC. Baltics expressed their appreciation for U.S. soldiers stationed there. Austin in addition to this, Millie and Austin were speaking before the House Armed Services Armed Services Committee about the budget plan for 2023. But according to the Associated Press, the hearing's main focus was on Russia's attack on Ukraine and what the U.S. can do to support the war-torn nation and boost European security. Austin also mentioned that he recently visited and met with authorities in the Baltics, who expressed their appreciation for U.S. soldiers stationed there. He added that they will keep working with NATO to figure out what the standards will be in the future. We will be part of that solution, Austin claimed. The Pentagon is further continuing to assess its soldier levels in Europe, determining whether to recruit more or relocate some of those already stationed there. Meanwhile, in congressional testimony on Tuesday, Mark Milley voiced his worry about rising instability and speculation about a clash between two world powers, China and Russia. Milley stated that the risk of a major worldwide confrontation between strong nations such as China and Russia is growing.